Hey guys, in this video, I am going to tell you everything you ever needed to know about Naloxone, also known as Narcan. So let's get started. Naloxone is a potent opiate antagonist. Antagonist meaning a substance that interferes with or inhibits the physiological action of another. In this case, naloxone interferes and inhibits the actions of opiates within the human body. When an individual takes an opiate, the molecule of the opiate attach themselves to the opiate receptors mu, delta, and kappa within the brain and spinal cord. Effects are those of pain control, calmness, euphoria, and a slower respiratory rate. When you are prescribed an opiate for, say, pain control, the dosage might only fill half the opiate receptors in the body, giving pain relief but not the respiratory depression. An overdose occurs when the dose is so high that all of the opiate receptors are full. This causes the respiratory depression and soon after, unresponsiveness and hypoxia. Naloxone works only on opiates and opiate derivatives. Some examples of these are hydrocodone, Vicodin, Oxycontin, Oxycodone, Percocet, Codeine, Morphine, Fentanyl, Methadone, Hydromorphone, and heroin. Naloxone has zero effects on drugs like methamphetamines, benzodiazepines, and cocaine. So how does it correct an opiate overdose? When given, the naloxone has a higher affinity for the opiate receptors within the body, meaning the naloxone is more strongly attracted to the opiate receptors than whatever opiate they may have initially taken. The opiate molecule is kicked off of the receptor and naloxone replaces it, shielding the receptor from the opiates within the system. This effect lasts for an average of 60 minutes. After the half-life of naloxone has expired, the opiates gain the ability to reattach to the receptor sites. Indications for the use of naloxone are the suspected use of an opiate in an overdose, decreased respiratory drive, and pinpoint pupils. There are no clear contraindications unless the patient is allergic to naloxone and you have the knowledge of this allergy prior to administration. Studies have shown no harsh effects to the human body if given when there is no opiate overdose present. Dosing for naloxone given by EMS is typically 2 mg for adults and 1 mg for pediatrics. However, more and more you are seeing many first responder agencies, police agencies, and civilians alike carrying 4 mg single doses. The American FDA even have recently announced a new 8 mg single dose. Providers must be cognizant of how many doses not only they are giving, but also other agencies or civilians that may be assisting on the scene. As there are some studies out there that have found that high doses of naloxone have caused pulmonary edema, aspiration pneumonia, and aspiration pneumonitis. However, these studies have not been widely accepted by the medical community because there is not yet sufficient evidence, but just keep this in the back of your mind. Administration comes in the forms of intravenous push, an intranasal spray, or an intramuscular injection. Intranasal spray has become the go-to for EMS personnel unless otherwise unavailable. To accomplish this nasal administration, you need to use a specific device called a MAD, or mucosal atomizing device, which turns the liquid Narcan into a nasal spray similar to that of Afrin. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.